Good morning, Get Wrecked for Recovery crew. So it's day 99 of the Redeeming Eden Cycle Tour. R-E-C-T, Get Wrecked for Recovery. A bicycle trip across the United States of America to raise awareness that there are addiction recovery options available. That you don't have to die in your addiction. There's churches, celebrate recoveries and rescue missions all over the nation, all over the world, that just want to help you, talk to you, and love you if you find yourself battling addiction. So, you know, just, uh, <sighs> yeah, Tyler brought the coffee this morning, seven o'clock on the dime. Uh, thank you, Tyler. So cool. I just love God showing his love through other people. It's so neat. Um, but yeah, I went ahead and got up early and, uh, I'm going to get on the road early today. Uh, I've got two places I can stop. I'm here at the park in Fordsville. I'm going to go into Fordsville and get some breakfast. And then after that, um, the next place is 43 miles, and then there's a place after that that's 56 miles away. If I can make it to the one that's 56 miles away, that puts me only 8 miles out from Sonora the next day where my jacket will be at the post office. So I'd really like to do that. Um, something's wrong with my legs. <laughs> like... All night last night, I was writhing in pain, like, just from, I mean, drop a comment, I don't even know what muscle or tendon or ligament this would be, but it just goes from, like, my rear end all the way down to, like, my uh, top of my knee on the back of my leg. Uh, but both of those just, like, I guess maybe that's hamstrings? I thought the hamstrings were in the front, though. I don't know. Anyway, uh, they're screaming, and like I have stayed on my hydration, I have stayed on my nutrients, I, I don't know. Uh, either way, I'm hoping that that clears up, uh, but I, as long as I'm this early today, I could go six miles an hour and pedal for, you know, uh, eight, nine hours and still get 56 miles. Uh, that's the one luxury of leaving this early in the day so uh yeah i'm gonna get on the road get some breakfast finish this coffee out and uh yeah you guys will see more of that right about now all right so i'm here in hardensburg kentucky uh so i stopped this morning in fordsville and had breakfast at the diner uh and sat there and finished producing yesterday's video uh, I did not actually completely finish it last night. I did go to sleep. Uh, so it, you know, kind of drained my battery a little bit. I asked the lady if she had a booth where I could um, charge my phone, and she said it's closed off because of COVID. And so I said, okay. So I sat out front and clicked upload, and it took it two hours to upload. So the whole time, my phone battery was just draining, draining, draining. So rather than, like, take a bunch of footage... I just put it on the uh, charger on the uh, power bank and headed out. Uh, some beautiful scenery. You'll have to take my word for it from uh, Fordsville to Hardensburg. Uh, but I'm like 30 miles in at this point. I've got, uh, it's 3 o'clock in the afternoon. I have got, I want to say 18 left of the first campground, which is 20 miles from Sonora. And uh, 28 miles to the second campground, which is... Uh, it's eight miles from Sonora. Um, I'm only trying to figure out what to do, though, as far as how far I'm going to make it and how, how much I need to do in the morning before I get to Sonora because that's where my jacket is. Uh, so one of the things, the hills have picked back up. They're big. They're big, nasty, huge, crazy Kentucky hills. They just go up for, you know, 100, 200 feet, and then they go back down, and then they go back up, and they go back down. Uh, much, I guess, bigger than the hills in Missouri, uh, but just kind of a steady, constant grade. And with my legs hurting like they are, I called my wife, and uh, she asked me the symptoms. She's an RN, and so she asked me the symptoms, and I told her, and she said, you need to stop by Dollar General and get some magnesium. So I did that. I took one. It seems to be helping quite a bit, but even then, still like 
about the point at which you know you're riding up a hill and you start to kind of fail and you got to shift to lower gears about that point every time i'm still getting just intense muscle cramping uh in the backs of my legs so i may even get like a daily vitamin uh to start taking to help with all of this stuff that's going on in my body from 99 days of bicycle riding um so anyway yeah i sent 13 pounds of stuff home um, threw away some old food that I had that I, I hadn't used, and uh, I'm probably about 15, 16 pounds lighter at this point. But my bicycle is not a touring bicycle, so it doesn't have that, you know, it's got a low gear, but it's still not like a low gear like a touring bike has where, you know, you, you almost fall over, you're going so slow. Um, so I'm still putting in a lot of effort with really the backs of my legs. Anyway, I'm going to sit here out of the heat. It got up to like 80 degrees all of a sudden out of nowhere. I don't even know how or why, but it did. It jumped up fast. And so, uh, yeah, as soon as it starts to cool down a little bit, I am going to head toward the campground and figure out which one I'm going to, which you'll see more of right about now. Well, I got 40 miles in, so I called ahead to the uh, grocery store, Double L Grocery, couldn't get anybody on the phone. Looked on the map, the next place is the fire department uh, that's farther east, like Eastview or something. And it said on the map that you need 24 hours of, uh, you know, notice to stay there. I didn't have that. So... I got to the last gas station that I passed and went inside and talked to the fella and I was like, you know, I'm looking on the map here. It looks like uh, Hardin County is about three miles. He said, yeah, now don't forget, you're going to be in the eastern time zone when you get there. And I was like, what? <laughs> he was like, yeah, you'll go an hour forward. I was like, no, you don't know how monumental this is. I've now crossed all the time zones. I feel like Pokemon, you know, got to catch them all. Uh, but so he's like, oh, that's cool. And I was like, yes, it's really cool to me. And so I said, but I'm looking on the satellite here and there's, you know, from the elevation, it looks like I go down into a big valley uh, and there's a river there. And he said, there is. He said, uh, I said, is there somewhere that I could camp there? He said, well, now, uh, if I remember correctly, there's an old like uh, bridge that was built there a long time ago, you know, and, uh, I think there may have even been a dam or something, and uh, if you go around the guardrail at the end and you turn around and you come back down, you end up on top of that bridge structure, and you can get down there to the water. He said, I don't know if you'd take your bike down there, which I can't. Um, and so he said, uh, you know, people go down there and fish all the time. It's, a, it's really a beautiful little spot. And I said, okay. I said, well, I may just camp there for the night. I'm going to be out early in the morning. i got to make it to Sonora which is 18 miles from here uh, with enough time to be able to pick up my package uh, from the post office. And they take a break from 12 to 1, so I kind of don't want to show up in town right then. But uh, yeah, so I came down the big hill, entered the eastern time zone, came around the corner, saw this dam. 
absolutely stunning view at this hour of day. Uh, it almost looks ancient, like, you know, I'm in some kind of jungle. Uh, it's how green it is and how just massive it is. I mean, each one of these blocks is huge. Uh, I mean, they're just they're not little for sure, you know, like. So, yeah, uh, so glad I stumbled upon this place. I really wish I could get my stuff down here, but I don't want to leave the bike up there on top of the uh, bridge ramp and be down here where I can't get to it if I need to. If I can figure out some other way to do it, I will, or some other way around, but I mean, I at least get to hear this all night. I'm only 50 feet away. But yeah, uh, that's it for the video for the day. Eastern time zone. What? Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Just too cool to me. Uh, so yeah, uh, if you know anyone who's passed away from addiction in any form or fashion, please drop their name in the comments or find me on Facebook, Adam Lineberry, Mobile, Alabama, and I would love to ride for your person and celebrate their life with you for a day. Uh, if you know anyone who's actively addicted, share this with them. I don't want to see anybody else die from addiction. And uh, let's use YouTube as a tool to hopefully save a life. Uh, if you know anybody who's in recovery, share this with them. We're all in it together. And I definitely need the recovery community's prayers and support as much as I pray for and support the recovery community. And then last but not least, don't forget Redeeming Eden is a nonprofit ministry through International Gospel Outreach. I'll leave a donation link in the description. Just click the down arrow and you can find it. Uh, you can go there. You can donate one time. You can donate monthly. It's whatever the Lord puts on your heart. Uh, if He puts it on your heart just to pray, then just pray. Prayers got me to the Eastern Time Zone, baby! <laughs> oh, so cool. But uh, yeah, and uh, I do appreciate your prayers. I appreciate you liking the videos on YouTube, uh, for sharing the videos on your social media platforms. Uh, as a matter of fact, that's how I, I believe, from what I understand, Robert Davenport, who I'm meeting tomorrow, uh, found out about me because Ann Johnson Jones was sharing the videos on Facebook. So it's a networking thing. Uh, and I appreciate you guys for doing the networking out there. Uh, yeah, but thanks for um, subscribing to the channel. That's a big help. Uh, eventually, I'm hoping that that will kind of start to uh, bring in revenue that we can use to build the rehab with. That way I don't have to lean so heavily on donations. But uh, yeah, again, cannot thank you enough for your support, your prayers, and do know that any funds left over from the Redeeming Eden Cycle Tour will go to building Redeeming Eden, the Garden Rehab. So, with that, from here, I'm not really sure where I am, honestly. From here in the Eastern Time Zone, <laughs> in Kentucky, uh, west of Sonora, 18 miles. I love you guys. Jesus loves you. I'll see you later. Have a good night.